hi guys welcome to my channel and this is my first tutorial so i had a quick shoot with a, a friend and uh, i would want to do some little color grading but it, some of you might be having problems with your color grading in capture one so i'll just take you through something quick now this is what we intend achieving you know see how the sky has been changed and all that so just something small, not to go too much into detail. So this is what we intend achieving. This is how flat the images are. And we intend achieving something like this. So I like this picture and all that. So I'll just go ahead and reset it. So we use it for what we want to do. So as you can see, it's gone back to a flat image. So I'll do the raw processing here and then everything will be done in Capture One for this first video. So the first thing is I try working on the distortion and then I move to this place. I always go to auto for the levels Then if there's something wrong I try correcting it myself otherwise I just leave it at auto. Then the highlights I would want to bump it you see it brings back the details in the sky. See how beautiful the sky is. So I think I like it to the max. Then her face now falls into some shadows. So I'll just bring it out a bit. And then with the, with the white balance, I, I like the way it was shot. Because I use a custom white balance in camera. But I think I'll go for sunny, which is uh, it's a bit too cool. So I'll just increase the temperature but just warm it a tad um, let's do a bit more okay this is okay and then add more a bit of magenta so this is good for me and um, I think the exposure everything was on point so I wouldn't do anything there so now we have um, the basic edit let me just uh, bring this back in a bit so this is okay for me now we go to uh, to do the color grading we go somewhere here now i use the color editor the advanced part so what i do is just use this color picker here over here select it and then sample a color that i would want to work with so i just sample this blue here now you see if you view selected color range it shows you only the blue sky and some blues in uh, the dress over here and then somewhere here which don't really matter to me all i'm concerned about is the sky so now we work on the hues now i want to move it more towards um this uh, teal like green somewhere there like that not necessarily uh, it's something like this so first of all hold on let's see I think there's something going on. Okay, let's go back to the color here. All right, so I've selected that. Oh, I disabled the color here. Good. So now we have it. If you move it all the way to the left, that's minus 30 degrees. If you move it to the right, it goes towards uh, purple. And, uh, what color is that? I can't even tell. That. So I move it all the way to negative 30. Now you see that changes something. So let's go to Alt if you're using uh, Option, if you're using the Mac and Alt if you're using PC, then click on this to go before, after, before, after. Now I think I like it, but let me increase the saturation a bit too much. This um, lightness, I just to experiment with. Uh, think uh, I'll just leave it to default now this is a bit okay but I would want more so I just pick the color picker and then sample more somewhere here lighter than what we have then I'll work on the use as well move it uh, yes this time I'll move it to same negative 30 then the saturation increase it a bit um that started to look a bit okay 
So again, let's go to before or after. Press on option on Mac, then click on this before now. Before now. Before and now. Good. So I think this is um, getting better. But I think the color of the dress here looks um, somehow. So I would want to work on that also. So just sample it. Now view color room seats. There are some colors here that are being affected. I don't mind. So let's go back here. And then I would want to just decrease the saturation a bit. Just a bit. Okay, I think that uh, works it. That works it. So now let's just create uh, a new variant. So um, what did we go to? We have this here. Now let's clone this here. Good. So we have this and that. Um, now let's just reset this. Hold on. Let's reset this. So we have this and that. Now this is where we are now, and this is before. So you see from this flat one to something more dramatic here. So um, we can go back here now. As you can see, it looks like. Um, the face has gone a bit into the shadows, so we can just increase this a bit and then bump the brightness up a bit. And I think we are good. So, in short, we move from here to here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'm new here, so if you like this, just subscribe to my channel and then give me a thumbs up. I'll try my best and then uh, get more tutorials. At least every week, I'll post one tutorial. Thank you for watching YouTube. Thank you.